This is the future. Before we start this video, I would like to ask for your help in getting the Styanax skin that you have seen in the thumbnail in game. The skin is called Reviews Styanax Skin by Artist Malaya, and you can check out the official Steam page in the video description below. There aren't that many skins for our resident gladiator so, it would be cool to have this one in the game. Thank you and now, let's begin the video. So, to cut any long introduction, I would say this right away, Styanax is fun to play with right now. Ok, a quick story time for those who don't know what Styanax has gone through before being this good. Back when this Warframe was first teased, a lot of us were hyped and we were getting King Leonidas vibes on this. Players are already craving a Sparta kick ability and I was even curious if maybe this Warframe can dual wield exalted weapons, or use multiple exalted weapons as what we have seen in the short animated video that Digital Extremes released during the reveal of this Warframe. Now, Styanax was released with the Veilbreaker update, and I think this is one reason why the Warframe did not get too much attention. Ok, not just the only reason but one of the reason just to remind you. Some players right now are kind of curious why Digital Extremes have not included a new Warframe for the Duveri Paradox update and I always say to them to take a look at Steinax. Players were too focused on the new mission that the Veilbreaker update, and they were occupied with Cal that they were not that interested with Steinax. The same will happen if Digital Extremes will release a new Warframe in Duveri Paradox, and it will just flop knowing the fact that the new update is more focused on the Drifter and not Warframes. Ok, so back to Steinax. Again, I think it would be better if Steinax was a standalone update just like what they did with Vorana but like I have said, this is not mainly the reason why this Warframe flopped during release. Looking at his kit, the Warframe is great on paper. He got his Axios Javelin to pull together mobs in one place, a sort of grouping ability that pairs well with his second and fourth abilities. Speaking of his second, Tharos Strike is one of the best defense strip right now, not just for Styanax, but for other Warframes since it's a subsumable ability. With at least 200% power strength, you can strip all shield and armor of enemies hit by the ability. Then, he got his ultimate ability that deals primarily insane slash and bleed damage which can also be turned into good mobility. And then, he got his third ability Rally Point which gives shield per kill and allows you to regenerate his energy. It all sounds good, but there are a few mechanics on his abilities that leaves flaws in the Warframe, beginning with Rally Point that aggro all enemies when cast. This will leave Styanax very vulnerable especially when playing solo in Steel Path and beyond and sometimes, the amount of shield regen, even with shield gating would not be enough to counter all the heavy hits of the enemies. Most of the time, players decide to go invisible with Stork from her as Q-Brow to keep throwing those spears. But, another problem emerges as energy will be a big issue as Rally Point can't regenerate that much. But things changed when Digital Extremes reworked Grendel and made his Nourish ability an insane energy restoring ability coupled with Viral Prox. These benefits Styanax pretty well as not only the energy region allows you to fully spam his final stand ultimate ability, but the viral procs help the slash and bleed damage do more damage to the target. With nourish subsumed in my first ability, I can now fully spam final stand without worrying about energy problems, and hell, it's fun throwing spears to enemies and watching them melt in seconds. Styanax is one of the many cases that the Helminth system has helped improved and I think this is proof of how good is the Helminth system for Warframe, it may remove the uniqueness of a Warframe, but it sure makes us more powerful in this power fantasy game. So that's all about it, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.